New Car Inventory, Fleet Managers, and the Fleet Factor. Hi, I'm Kevin Hunter, the Homer Guy, author of Is That the Best You Can Do, here today with the amazing Elizabeth. Today we're going to be discussing how car inventories are influenced by bulk car buyers and how you might consider talking to a fleet manager about your next car purchase. And many of you have been asking us if buying your vehicle through the dealership's fleet manager is easier than going through any other salesperson on staff. Generally, the answer is yes, and there's an easy explanation for this. Fleet managers are used to dealing with high volume buyers from government agencies, the rental car companies, law enforcement, and other bulk buyers of cars. These are generally no nonsense buyers that have no time for a bunch of BS lines. So <laughs> subsequently, the fleet manager doesn't spend any time getting schooled on the usual talking points that a car salesman will use on the typical car buyer. They also tend to arrive at a better price more quickly because, pay attention now, their buyers are not emotionally attached to the vehicles they're looking at, they're very good at negotiating, and they're unafraid to just go across the street to a different dealer. The fleet manager knows all of this. Don't miss what Elizabeth just said. Bulk buyers are not emotionally attached to the vehicles, they're very good at negotiating, and they're unafraid to go to the competing dealer. If each of you can stay committed to never getting emotionally attached to the car you're looking at, or if you always took the time to thoroughly negotiate and you were always willing to get up and walk when you needed to, you'll find yourself getting better car deals all the time and they'll be much more like what a fleet buyer gets. Now here's what you need to know about bulk car purchases and how they're influencing the current car shortage. In 2020, many rental car companies sold off a lot of their inventory because of a natural loss of rental business. While that helped pump some used cars into the market, it also dropped their available car inventory significantly and made the rental car agencies hungrier than ever this year for new cars. Many of the rental car companies face such severe shortages that in some cases, consumers have resorted to renting moving vans. Now, that's got to be a really sweet ride for your vacation or bumpy. business trip, right? <laughs> <laughs> Anyhow, Enterprise Rent-A-Car and National Car Rental are some of the largest private purchasers of vehicles in the U.S. and typically buy more than 1 million new vehicles each year from amongst 21 different manufacturers. Having bulk customers like this is hugely favorable to automakers because the business helps smooth out fluctuations in car production. Right. And even in the midst of a car shortage, the last thing the automakers want to do is tick these guys off. So, while you may be out there looking for a new vehicle and wondering when the inventory problem is going to fix itself, you can rest assured that some rental car company somewhere is getting vehicles that you're not seeing at dealer lots. They outrank you in the pecking order of priorities. In a typical year, about 10% of fleet purchases are sold right off the dealer lot. That's because the dealership has a clue about the vehicles their fleet customers are looking for and they try to keep them in stock. Since dealers don't have those cars in stock right now, almost 100% of these fleet sales are going directly through the factory. Subsequently, for the next several months, this will have the impact of reducing, unfortunately, the total number of new cars you'll see coming to dealer lots. There's a little relief in sight with the impact of bulk car purchases. Historically, January and February tend to be relatively low consumer purchase months in the car business, and fleet buyers are hoping this continues to be true this coming year because they're hoping to make up for lacking inventory while there's reduced competition from consumers for cars. Assuming that all happens, as the rental car companies are hoping it does, then consumers ought to have a more favorable buying situation, which could start as early as March of next year. Of course, we need to see continued progress with the chip shortage issues as well for all this to work out. In summary, if you wondered if it made sense to talk to the dealer's fleet manager about a car purchase instead of the typical car salesman on a showroom floor, the answer is yes. They're much better at cutting to the chase and car price and they don't spend a great deal of time trying to BS you on things you don't need. And secondly, rental car companies and bulk car buyers are contributing to this car shortage you're experiencing, a factor that will hopefully diminish as we head into January and February next year. All right, if you appreciate our video today, consider giving us that great big thumbs up and please always remember to comment on our videos. Comments really matter because they help boost the search algorithms and then others find this content too. Add hashtag the homework guide to your comment. If you're on other platforms, look for us out there. There's a list of options appearing on the screen now and they're linked in the description box below. If you're new here, make sure you check out all the other videos we have. We're now over 46 million views and you might as well benefit from all that great content too. If you want to show your support with a tip, well, PayPal and Cash App links will be easy to find in that description box down below. The entire homework guide team is here to represent you the car buyer. And that's exactly what we do. Well, thanks everyone for coming back. We'll see you on our next video. You guys rock. I'm Kevin Hunter, the homework guy here with the amazing Elizabeth. We, we gotta, gotta go. go.